properties of probability. And before we get started, we want to remember some things that we've talked about before. Uh, primarily that the probability of an event E happening is equal to the number of ways that event can happen divided by the sample space, the total number of outcomes that we could have. Uh, when we also talked about our counting principles, we said that the number of ways that A and then B can happen uh, is equal to the number of ways that A can happen times the number of ways that B can happen. Uh, and then we also said that the number of ways that A or B can happen is equal to the number of ways that A can happen plus the number of ways that B can happen. And then you got to subtract out the intersection uh, of A and B. Um, however, you know, if these events are mutually exclusive, then there's nothing to subtract out because it means there is no intersection. So that's just something to remember from that we've talked about before. Turns out probability works the same way. The probability of A and then uh, B happening is equal to the probability that A happens times the probability that B happens. Uh, and the same rule for or, if you want the probability of A or B, uh, you are just going to add the two so long as they are mutually exclusive. If not, you'll need to you know, make sure you subtract out um, where they are uh, intersecting, mutually exclusive. Uh, we're going to be dealing with mostly mutually exclusive stuff, so we won't worry too much about this. But it, you know, it, it will come up sometimes. So you know, you would want to uh, subtract out. I kind of already wrote it, but the intersection here. Um, and then the last thing to remember is that the probability of not a happening is simply going to be equal to one minus the probability that a does happen. Right? And that should make sense. So these three ideas uh, we're going to use to solve a couple of different problems. So we're going to say that uh, two people visit, uh, I don't know, a hospital or a school. We're going to call those people uh, A and B. Uh, so person, we'll say person A, and person B visit some place. And the probability that person A gets sick Uh, we're going to say is equal to 0 0.07. And the probability that B uh, gets sick uh, is going to be equal to 0 0.13. Okay? Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find, uh, I'm going to go through a couple of different things here, the probability that the following things happen. First, that both uh, get sick. Okay, and if we want both to get sick, uh, then we're going to use this property over here. So we're going to say that the probability that A and B both get sick uh, is going to be equal to the probability that A gets sick times the probability that B gets sick. So that's going to be equal to 0 uh, 0.07 times 0 0.13 which is equal to 0 0.0091, okay? So that's just an application of both happening. Let's say instead we want the probability that uh, B does not get sick. Well, if you want the probability that B does not get sick, that's gonna be equal to one minus the probability that B gets sick. Uh, so we have 1 minus 0 0.13, which is equal to 0 0.87, and that gives us the probability that they don't get sick. C, we're going to use the same logic. The probability that A does, is not sick after visiting this hotbed of infection uh, is going to be equal to 1 minus the probability that uh, A gets sick. And so you're going to have 1 minus 0 0.07, and that will give you 0 0.93, okay? So uh, let's go on and say, make it a little more complex here, and say instead, what's the probability that uh, A does not get sick and B uh, is not sick? So if we want this, um, then we have to do the probability of not A times the probability 
of naught b. And luckily we've already calculated these things up here. Uh, so this would just be one minus probability of b times one minus probability of a, which we have for numbers, so we can just plug those in. We have 0 0.87 times 0 0.93. Uh, so then you get 0 0.8091. Okay. And then the last one we'll do is let's look at the probability that at least one gets sick. Okay. So uh, at least one. So it could be just A, just B, or both, right? Uh, so what this is, we can, uh, you know, you could calculate out each one and say, okay, what's the probability that just A gets sick, just B gets sick, what's the probability that both get sick, and then you can add those together to get this. Alternatively, you can just say that's going to be one minus uh, the probability that uh, neither gets sick, right? So not A and not B. And luckily, we've already calculated that, so we get to say just 1 minus 0 0.8091, and this gives us uh, 0 0.1909, okay? So this is how you apply uh, some of the properties of probabilities to solve uh, some, some problems where you're kind of mixing two events together.